I know when I came to Balanced View, the opportunity to ask questions was amazing. I had a lot of them. And I even had them after I didn't have them anymore. Because it was just so incredible to, to have this, this interaction. And just a, just a possibility of a, of a place to uh, come and, and talk about these things. And uh, because what I often found was just in listening to um, what other people had to say, what the trainer had to say, what Candace had to say, was it, it worked in the most uh, uh, mysterious and surprising ways. You know, I'd be just kind of like back there minding my own business, and then all of a sudden, you know, I'd hear this thing that kind of like blasted the top of my head off, you know, and like, and, and just completely, um, you know, unassuming, unassuming, and, and uh, so it's, it's just so amazing, and I find this still when I listen to talks that are on the website, um, of other trainers, of, of uh, Candace, um, of other participants. It's just so amazing. It just lights up in our own experience basically what we already know. Basically what we already know. And we're in these rooms and on these calls because we already know it and, and, and we're just uh, uh, looking for a confirmation. So, and it just happens completely naturally for everyone in their own experience. Sometimes it's like, wow, I'm not getting this. I, am I doing it right? Uh, how do you take a short moment? And, and that type of thing. And sometimes it's just like the top of your head blown off. And it really doesn't make any difference because it is, it is, uh, uh, brightening in our experience like all the time and all we have to do is just show up for this this incredible mainstays four mainstays lifestyle now one of the things in the four mainstays lifestyle that was a complete uh, um, speaking of a comprehensive um, view um, completely different for me was how I interact in a group and what I was looking for in a group to interact with. And, and I, I saw many, many data streams that I had about what I thought groups should be, what I thought they should do for me, how I thought I should interact and all of that type of thing. But what I really found and this was so surprising for me, was just this completely open environment where I was behaving differently than I ever had before. More inclusive, more comprehensive, and this just, it, it really was comprehensive because it was not only in these rooms, it was every other room that I was in. That, that sense of, what I could get for me, it just kind of settled out because there was no difference between me and you. A and this was really, uh, this was really experienced in a felt sense. And, um, you know, just incredible uh, respect and kindness that I felt in these rooms and I felt working on various projects and and uh, just the ease with which things, the kind of magical ease with which things could get done. In kind of um, uh, different from what I had felt before in groups where I was always jockeying for position, you know, what, how, you know, and it may have been couched in, you know, how can I help, how can I be helpful, <laughs> which was really, how can I be indispensable? Which is really, uh, please let me be worth something. <coughs> you know, it, 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 was really, it was really like that. And to find that I could simply be myself. And I didn't have the, the old ties for what exactly that meant. But I could simply show up just as I was and was allowed 
and accepted and befriended and loved in a way that, I mean, I tell you, I couldn't help but love myself. <laughs> you know, it's just a natural progression. This, and this is the, the comprehensive uh, uh, air and perspective of open intelligence, of ourselves as open intelligence. And, and as Chris said, it just is, it's just this natural, uh, easeful, um, organic, uh, comprehensive order of reality that just becomes more and more present, more and more uh, evident, more and more obvious. And again, we find that because we're acting it. You know, often, oftentimes unpreconceived, unthought through, just this natural movement uh, um, of benefit. It is, uh, um, you know, it, it's just something that I just didn't even know was possible. I didn't even know to want it. <laughs> I knew to want peace and I knew to want love and all that kind of thing, but to have it on the ground running in all of life in a very comprehensive uh, view and experience was just, uh, it's just amazing. It was the dream I had always dreamt that I thought I would never get. That it, that it, would, it would, might happen to other people, but not to me ways that I used to have be before, uh, you know, that wasn't going to work anymore, and that was naturally not happening. But I still had all kinds of data running about this kid and that kid and that mom and that dad and, you know, what everybody was doing, and it was all too much, and, and um, what they expected of me and all that kind of stuff. And I simply took about 100,000 short moments again and again and again. And it felt really, really bad. Not the taking the short moments, but the whole thing. I could feel it fully, probably better than, you know, when I would have gone off on this kid, you know, told them what to do or told them what to do. And it's just like, you know, all the places that I used to blow off the steam and blow off the discomfort, usually making myself and someone else feel bad. And you know, this way, it was only me feeling bad. <laughs> it's like, it's like, and and uh, I, I, I believe, I, I'm pretty, sh pretty sure that I, I either called my trainer at that time, this is like six years ago, um, or I emailed her, like, a lot. I was gone like for six days and it was like a lot and it was just so telling. I did find that I, um, you know, in the past I just would have done something to get away from these awful feelings or this at least feelings of discomfort. But I found that, uh, that I, um, I did come back again and again and again in the, the open intelligence that all of these feelings were in. And it, it, is, it is endurable. And it's also, right after it's endurable, it's like natural to, that these things arise. And I, I have to say that over the years, what I've found is that all of those things really have become really non-issues, and that doesn't mean that they don't arise. But now with my kids, the things naturally don't come out of my mouth. I am not scared for my kids anymore, which is, you know, how, how you know, mostly everything was, was uh, motivated. But the, the uh, I, it took me a while but I did finally totally feel immense gratitude for these very uncomfortable feelings. Because over, over time, short moment after short moment after short moment, taking advantage of all the mainstays, 
of course, because <laughs> as it turned out, there actually was no way out. There was no back door. There was no going back. It was like, okay, we're on this road, and, and, and it's just, uh, it's amazing uh, to see the stability, mental and emotional stability and ease that come to the fore, which really unlocks the full benefit of any data stream because we're simply not 100% of the time solely paying attention to the description. As you said, you know, you've got, there's the, there's the, the, the what is holding it all, what it pervades it all at the same time, which gives us the total ability and, and uh, privilege and right to, you know, just simply just let that data stream be just as it is. And, you know, when it gets really, really intense, you know, just you, the, the reliance on the teacher is just the most incredible thing. And, and it really does comprehensively work throughout all of our lives. So if, it, if you feel really uncomfortable, that is so good because I know what you have available. You know, what you have, and, and, and I know what the, the basis of that is, and I know what the, the benefit of that is. <laughs>